Weather plays a big impact in golf. Some days, you only need one layer, like Thomas and I and myself right now. Some days, you might need five layers. With today's video, we're gonna to try to showcase just how much adding layers impacts your golf game. Thomas gets some shots with one layer, with three layers, and with five layers, and we're gonna see if TrackMan tells us anything. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are outside on the driving range. It's a wonderful fall day today. Um, but we're here because recently the weather's been kind of uh, flip-floppy with us. You know, we got some cold days, got some warm days. And so now we're a little bit curious about adding layers. This is a kind of your idea here actually, Thomas. Um, adding layers to your attire, does that change your golf swing and your golf performance? Uh, I know. You've been curious about this for a while, and I'm now curious to see what happens because I, we've all been there, especially if you live in the Midwest in the United States. Uh, this climate can change quite a bit. You're experiencing all four seasons uh, when you're playing golf, essentially. So, um, I mean, what do you think we're going to see here? Do you have any you know, hypothesis here? I mean, my expectation would be uh, more club speed with less layers, mm -hmm. less club speed if you have a few layers on. Mm -hmm. And that's going to equate to probably less distance if you have more layers on. So if it's cold out, you gotta think about the golf ball too. If the golf ball is colder, the ball may also not yeah. go as far as well. But I think this is related to just club speed alone, just to yeah. see what happens if I have a lot of layers on or not as many layers on. And we already noticed it, like you said, it's uh, it's in the fall here in Minnesota and I've already played a couple of rounds where I've had to have my Under Armour on already. Mm -hmm. um, so this would be very interesting. Yeah, we've got, I mean, at, this is that point of the year, and then all of a sudden in the spring where you have a day where it's, at least in Minnesota, you have a day where it's 47 degrees, you might have a tournament schedule, you gotta go play that thing. And it's 47 degrees, it's potentially raining, you might have wind, it's a chilly, chilly day. But now it's, you know, this is middle of October, and it's gonna sunny and almost gonna be 70 degrees today. It's uh, probably in the low 60s right now in the morning, but it'll warm up to that. So we can kind of experience it all here. Um, but so, how are we gonna do this test, Thomas? How are we gonna conduct this and see if there is that difference? Yeah, so we're going to put a, three different categories. We've got the summer wear, so I've got my polo shirt. Mm -hmm. No Under Armour, no, nothing else on under, or anything like that. And then we have kind of like our fall and spring wear. So that's when I have maybe a little Under Armour underneath. I'll have like a quarter zip on top of the polo. Okay. And then we have our, our winter weather, rainy winter weather, sleet, yeah. slush. So that's when <laughs> I have a couple of extra layers on. I have like rain pants, rain shirt on, and maybe one extra layer for those hardy golfers that do go out there and play when it's say 40 degrees out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I will admit I'm one of those players. Uh, when spring rolls around and the golf, first golf course is open around here, I'm out there and it doesn't matter the weather. So You uh, and every Minnesota golfer. <laughs> I, I feel like in the spring in April, once, it's, once you can go play, you go play. Seriously, the ground is just dead brown, but it doesn't matter because you get to golf. But this is good though, because I'm curious about this and I've wondered a long time, you know, when it gets really cold, I mean, I know the, the air limits your distance a little bit, but is my club speed also waning? Uh, so that'll be good to know. So, Thomas, are you ready to hit some shots here? Let's do this. That's a that good ball. A very good swing. It's a good start. Just a touch left. Just gentle little drawer. So Thomas, I mean, these are three seven irons for you. Um, and nothing out of the ordinary here based on the numbers. Club speed, just over 90 miles an hour. Um, carry distance, 178.6. I know you always say 178 to 180 is your carry range. So you hit that and 183.4 total um, with the distance there, you know, ball speed 128.2. So they're my stock numbers. There's nothing out yep. of the ordinary there. So that's kind of the baseline that we have now for wearing just like a polo. Right. So uh, now we can maybe, we'll go to driver here. We'll add driver into the mix here too to see how that changes things. Sounds good. That's hit pretty well. That was a good swing. That one could go far. 290.6 carry, 113.4 club speed. 
averaging 113 as of now. Okay. That was a little lower on the face. All right. Top of the net. Top of the net again. So three shots with the driver, Thomas. Uh, I'm gonna bring up these numbers really quick just so we have those averages. 113.2 is your average club speed. That has, by the way, gone up, your average club speed with driver, especially if you've already noticed it over the past two years of, uh, you know, testing on TrackMan, doing the videos. You know, it used to be sub 110 not long ago. Yeah, now 110 you, used to be really good for me. Right, and now, I mean, done the speed training and all that, and it certainly has paid off. So, 113.2 with driver, 90.4 with a seven iron. Now we get into, we'll put on some spring slash fall attire, we're calling it. Okay. So maybe kind of a, a you know, thinner, you know, uh, long sleeve shirt under the polo and then a quarter zip on top. You know, something that keeps you warm in 50s-ish uh, temperatures and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Tell you what, it wasn't very good contact. Tell you what, it's not very good efficiency, that's for sure. <laughs> you missing it a little bit? That was a little thin. Yeah, the ball speed has dropped. Yeah. That one sounded better. That was a better swing, yeah. Uh, interesting numbers here. Um, you've got a couple more layers on. Club speed didn't change much, just a tenth of a mile per hour slower with you know your extra tire on. Uh, efficiency drop though, and I know you had at least one miss hit in there that you didn't like. Um, so a, a 137 smash compared to a 142 smash. So that's something to take away. Now this isn't a very large sample size, but something to take away. Yeah, um, I feel like I was, my club speed felt about the same, but I definitely noticed I couldn't find the middle of club face as well. Yeah. I, uh, I feel like I felt a little more restricted and it restricted my swing just just enough to not hit it as solid. Sure. I mean, you'd end up losing seven carry yards based on the miss hits that you had, so. Yeah. And that's significant considering that my club speed was still the same. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So, and it's funny, because we were talk we were thinking this would be a club speed oriented thing, and there is a big difference so far now. Again, three shots each isn't a huge sample size, but i um, curious now, maybe we see the same trend with driver here. That's the driver. Like a pretty good swing. Mm -hmm. How was that one? A good one. Hitting the driver well. You are hitting the driver very well. There are four of those five so far you've hit that are very close to each other. The other one's not that far off. Drifting a little left on that one. A little bit, yep. Hit well though. Could have used the error just a little bit with the face being a little closed. Yeah, so driver we see just a little bit of a dip in the club speed from 113.2 to 112.7. Okay. Um, so you'd lost four, well three and a half I guess, carry yards, three total yards. So not a ton there. And then looking at the, the map, I mean, I guess because of that last shot, your, your circle with you know extra layers is a little bit larger, but still a small sample size here. Nothing major to take away, I don't think yet. Um, really from all the numbers on here, uh, I know there was a little bit of the kind of the contact with extra layers of the seven iron, uh, but now I think we can maybe see some real differences where the swing in the club is gonna be just I would imagine you're in your mind you're thinking, oh god, how am I going to swing this club right now with all these layers on? Right. Yeah, I'm I'm getting ready to go out and and play in the rain and play in the cold wind and yeah, this try is, and grind you're, around. You're going to be here. dressing up as if it is snowing on. Right. This is when I'm forced to play. I'm playing an event, and the weather's bad. And yeah. And they're not play. they're not postponing it or, or changing right. the date. It's like we're playing today. There's no thunder or lightning, and <laughs> yep. it's time to go play. How'd that feel? <laughs> I got a little thin. I feel like I tried to swing 
pretty pretty fast at that. All right, little Tully. Yeah, I mean, biggest thing for me is contact. It just feels like the contact's just a little bit off. It's just, it, it's harder to make that good contact, you're saying? Yep. What it feels like? So I've got all the seven irons here. Like Once again, your smash factor dipped down to one, three, four. Okay. So, and your club speed is down to 89.3. So you lost a mile an hour club speed. You've lost from your summer attire to now winter attire. You've lost almost nine miles, well, yeah, almost nine miles an hour of ball speed. That is a lot. That's a lot. It's, I mean, that's a big difference in efficiency. And Which I is, mean, I can see here, I'm not, I'm not really, right. my contact was just off. And you had, I mean, it was 11 yards of carry distance. So yep. I'm sure you've played in tournaments and I don't know if, if that has gone through your mind about like, you know, let's say it's, you're wearing clothing like that. Maybe it's raining, whatever. And it's, you have a 175 yard shot and you're wondering what club to hit maybe. Cause you're like, I'm not gonna hit my seven iron my normal distance, right? So. Right something you probably consider and something I'm taking away from this now. I mean, it could be about a club difference. Well, I've always thought about temperature, but I've really not really thought about the amount of layers yeah, that I've had or how that's going to influence. So club, those old layers yeah. plus temperature could right. be quite a, I mean, we're, this is a, still a warm day. Like that's kind of the neutral part here is the temperature. Right. Imagine if it was cold out and I was exactly wearing these layers. I feel like the speed would probably be a little yeah. bit lower as well. But this is keeping the same temperature constant. Right. So, okay. Driver now. Okay. Are you ready to swing three times with that on? I'm getting pretty warm, but <laughs> I need to take these clothes off pretty soon. Oh boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. That was almost <laughs> a top. <laughs> this is interesting because your club speed was actually one of the highest ones so far, but you just hit the very near bottom of the club face. All right. better hit there right there. I, I was really conscious on that one to make sure that I got through and hit a good shot and that felt like a good shot. Mm -hmm. That was pounded. That fit pretty well. Maybe a little spinny. That's pretty good. All right we've got... Whew, I'm gonna take this off. So Thomas, um, First of all, just give me your feedback on hitting the, like, now I know we're doing this video on this topic, so it was on your mind, but previously when you'd been competing, and I kind of, we talked about this a little bit, but like, is that on your mind when you're competing, you're adding more layers, are you thinking to yourself as you're, you know, throwing on a jacket, oh, this is going to restrict my swing, or is it more of just keep me warm? Yeah, I mean, I definitely take a few practice swings to adjust to it. Yeah. Uh, if the temperature changes a lot and you've got to add in that, that rain jacket or that extra layer, I feel like I was making a real conscious effort to get through the ball, mm -hmm. is what it felt like. Uh, especially with the driver, those last couple of swings, I feel like I hit it pretty good. But the first one, I was like, I, I did not get through the ball very well. I felt yeah. so restricted. And I made a real conscious effort to make sure that I swung and got onto my left side and made a good swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's go through these numbers again. We'll start with a seven iron um, because we did see a trend emerge there, and it was simply making contact in the center of the club face became harder for you with the more you know layers that you put on. So started with what you're wearing now, standard summer attire. Yep. Um, 90.4 miles an hour on the club speed, 142 smash, ball speed 128.2. Um, so I know those are pretty typical numbers, right? That amounted to 178.6 in carry distance. That's my numbers right there. Now, as we basically, well, let's just we'll go all the way down to winter because you know you're dropping all those layers on. You lost, you know, almost nine miles an hour ball speed. You're at one nineteen point eight, one three four smash. Club speed was only about a mile an hour difference. So, and again, again coming into this, it was thinking you know club speed would be the big difference. But we also just saw the difficulty of swinging effectively with more clothes on. Right, contact and efficiency is what it seemed like it came down to, even with driver as well. But especially the irons, I felt like I did not hit the ball nearly as well off the ground. Yeah, and we could see on the map here. I mean, the the white circle, which was the you know the first seven irons you hit with just a polo on, was the smallest one. So 
I think there's, you know, it's not a giant sample size here, but it's enough where we can start to draw some conclusions on this. Um, and then moving into driver, it was interesting because your first set of swings, again, wearing a polo, 113.2 miles an hour. Then you added on the quarter zip and the kind of the long sleeve shirt underneath the polo, dropped to 112.7. Then you throw on basically your winter gear back up to 113.6 which is certainly interesting. I didn't expect that to emerge, but we did see, of course, your, your miss hit of the day uh, off the tee there with all of the winter gear on. So, um, and that dispersion circle is, is rather large compared to the other two. So what are, your, just what are your thoughts on driver swings then? Because I feel like for me, that's been the biggest hiccup for me when I've been playing in the, the cold weather is trying to find that driver swing when you have four layers on. Yeah, the first swing, it was not very good. Uh, yeah. I did not hit it very well. I feel like I almost topped it. Um, it just felt awkward with all the layers on. Yeah. So then I made a couple, took a couple of practice swings, and I was like, well, let's make sure you get yourself through the ball, make a good solid swing, go after it, and see if you get through. And what's yeah. interesting is those last two swings, I think they might have been my two fastest swings of, of the day. They, you got up to 114 on your second to last driver swing of the day. Okay. Which was. That way, I mean, you didn't have, you did not eclipse 114 with your other driver swings today. Right. So. And we're talking within a mile, an hour. It's not, not like I'm saying I've got five layers on, I'm going to swing faster with the driver. I'm not saying that at all. Right. What we just noticed is the efficiency number, which we, what we didn't expect right off the bat, is the, probably the biggest implication when you've got different layers on. Right. That was the thing that I think we're taking away from this is simply to be aware of the fact that when you do play in colder weather and you are adding layers, A, just because of the temperature, the ball is gonna fly shorter, but then B, it's going to be tougher to hit the center of the face. Um, most likely, if you're like most golfers, you know, you're one of the better players in the state. So that, you know, I would imagine that would then carry on to other golfers out there who maybe have the same question. I know, again, I'm very curious about this. It, interesting that it really didn't, we didn't really draw a conclusion per se on the club speed, but certainly the efficiency and the ability to hit the center of the face. Right. Uh, I want to add in here too. Generally speaking, if you have more layers on, you got those that rain gear on. You're playing in the rain. Mm -hmm. You might have a wet glove. Yeah. You might be, the ground might be slippery. You got to take that in consideration too. We're we're doing this basically the exact same environment. Yeah. 60 degrees right. and sunny. Yeah. I can still <laughs> I can still swing hard mm -hmm. and and trust my swing. I'm not going to slip and fall over. If it was wet out or my hands cold or wet, I don't think I would be able to keep that club speed up. And that's, right, that's when true. I think you would notice the oh, drop yeah. off. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I don't know if there's the right way to do that test where you're swinging the same because it's like, it's, yeah, nearly I mean, we, we get all the different climates right. in Minnesota, but usually not all in the same day we get that type of difference, right. but it, it does come close some days. You'd have to spray my hand with cold, <laughs> cold water and yeah. put water on the ground and yeah. Yeah. So, but in terms of simply swinging the golf club, we did see those differences today. So. Uh, I guess that's the takeaway here is just, you know. Efficiency gonna, drops. Yeah, your efficiency drops. I guess lower your, maybe lower the expectations if you're going to be playing in, you know, a weather that demands more layers. Is that, I guess, the takeaway right. today? Yeah, make, <laughs> make more of a conscious effort on your golf swing. Mm -hmm. uh, now you've got more layers on, take an extra practice swing. Adjust to the, the mm -hmm. those settings of having those extra layers. Because, yes, I was very constricted when I had the five layers on, especially even the, the three layers. I notice a difference. I've played a lot of golf with an Under Armour on and a quarter zip on. Yeah. And I feel comfortable because I feel like I'm constricted, but I feel like everything is all together. Yeah. Once you start adding in those loose, the looser, the looser like ba jackets, baggy or stuff. baggy yeah, yeah. Cl clothes, that's when it can be a little hard to keep yourself in sync. And we saw that today, but uh, okay, that's we we have some more information now. So. Golfers, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I found this very informational, um, and I'll take this with me when, you know, we do have some golf left here this year, but also next spring when those courses are opening up and it's 45 degrees and I go out and play, uh, my expectations will be quite low uh, because A, it'll be first round of the year, but B, it's going to be a ton of layers and it's going to be cold. So, uh, but golfers, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let us know your experiences with adding layers and maybe if it's made a difference. Uh, for you as well. Um, so Thomas, thanks for joining today and setting this all up for us. This was really good. Not a problem.